Cheers, welcome to Crafty Bitches. Andrew and I are still separated, so guess what? I'm doing more crafts. I have a couple of friends with birthdays coming up and unfortunately we can't be together. So I figured I was gonna make them some homemade birthday cards I could send in the mail. So at least I could send them wishes, uh, even if I'm not there in person. I'm not really sure why I decided to dress like Bill Nye the Science Guy today, but I'm kind of into it. It's a little bit of Bill Nye, a little bit of Mr. Rogers, I don't know. Felt like a bow tie kind of day. So I had some cardstock lying around, but I didn't have quite enough. So I'm improvising and I tore a couple of pages out of um, a photo album that I haven't used yet. And so I have extra blank pages that I can use and this is gonna be my base. But I have to get rid of the perforated dots. What are those? Anyway, but I have to make a clean edge for this. So I've got my paper cutter and I'm just going to make this a clean line first and foremost. So now that I have clean lines on all four sides of my cardstock, I have to measure them so they'll fit into the extra envelopes that I had lying around too. It helps if you're a hoarder. I'm actually gonna measure, I know. I need the cards to be just under seven inches by five and a bit. Fold the card in half and then we'll cut it down to size to fit this envelope. So we've got our card base. And now I think actually this is gonna be the right width, just the wrong length. So I just need to trim this down ever so about an inch. I'm just gonna eyeball it, cause you know me. And we'll see if we have to do any more. And now we have a card. That's the perfect fit for our envelope. Okay, so I've got two cards ready to go and I'm going to use some extra cotton flannel fabric that I have lying around. I thought this seemed really happy birthday. This I think might be a cute bow for the present that I'm gonna make on top. So I'm gonna do some variation of balloons and presents on the cards. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of media I wanna to use to create that. So I've got all these buttons and I'm thinking how cute would they be as balloons on top, right? And then the strings can all come down and be tied in a little bow. So it'd be sort of like a 3D balloon card. And then I'm thinking, well, this is perfect wrapping paper for presents. So if I cut this out into squares and I can do one present, two presents. Maybe I do presents on one and balloons on the other because I do have to make two different cards. Okay, let's try it. I think I'm gonna do the present one first because it seems easier. First, I'm gonna cut my presents to size. So I've got my handy blade tool here. And I'm gonna follow this line. make my first larger bottom present. Oh, maybe I save this for the bow on top. When working with plaid fabrics, it makes things a lot easier because you can just totally use the plaid pattern to cut a straight line. All right, it's looking pretty darn cute up in here. So I'm gonna cut it into a bunch of little lines. I'm cutting it into a bunch of little strips. And then I sew them all together. And obviously, I'll have to trim it down so it's much smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna trim all these a little bit shorter. How cute is that gonna be? Ooh, that's really gonna pop. It's gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna use this thread. Maybe it's best if I 
put the bow on the present before I attach it to the card. Put a really tiny little button in the middle of it so it looks even cuter. <gasps> what color though? Alright, so I've got my string. I'm gonna tie a little knot at the end of it and we're gonna come up the back side. Okay, so we've got our button in the center. dimension and then do we put a little button in the middle of this one too we do one of these pink ones or I need kind of a tiny one oh look at this it's a little flower <gasps> oh that's cute too oh my gosh okay so now we've got our button in the middle I'm going to tie it off. And now we have our second bow for our presents on our card. I'm quite pleased. All right, so now I'm going to attach the bows to each present, and then I'm going to attach the presents to the card. So there's our first present. So freaking cute. <gasps> Ooh, should I find a way to put ribbon on it? If we do that, should the ribbon be a different color maybe? I think it should be a different color. Okay, you need maybe just like a solid red. <laughs> Sometimes I love my craft room. It's just right there when you ask for it. Ooh, that'll be fun. Okay, I'm trying to cut as straight as we can. But once again, I'm not really one for perfection. Oh, it's gonna be cute. I need to add a ribbon to this one. Now, what do we think about these two together? I think that might be really cute. Now, this ribbon's gonna have to be cute thinner because this present is even thinner. So I'm just doing a single stitch on each of these four corners. Now I'm going to add our bow. No matter how long you've been sewing, I think everyone still stabs themselves once in a while. And as you can see, I've stitched all four sides together, and now we've got a cute little present. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom layer first. So now we've attached our first little present. So now let's attach our bigger present. Oh no, I've bled on the card. Oh Christ, might have to have a well-placed button there for some unknown. So now 
we've got an adorable handmade present covered card. I'm quite pleased. This is so cute. I don't know what to do about this blood stain though. Oh no. What could solve this problem? Should we put some kind of table there or something? Just do a little bottom part here, just because. I think it's better than a blood stain. Oh my God. It would just be like, you know, the party table that the presents are sitting on top of. And let's attach a table and hopefully not stab ourselves again. Okay, so now we've got a cute little table that's covering up the blood stain. You know, any normal crafting sentence. Actually, it doesn't look too terribly messy on the inside. Oh my god, how freaking cute is this? I love it! Oh my god, I'm so excited to send this off to my friend. It turned out so cute, blood stains and all. We figured it out. And I'm going to try and do another one with balloons next. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so for this second card, I'm going to attempt to do a bushel full of balloons with strings attached. And then they're going to have lines coming down to be the string that attaches them all. We have our cluster of balloons stuck together. I'm going to use this fabulous thick thread to be all of their balloon strings. Okay, let's start with the biggest one since it's on top. I kind of like the purple. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna thread my extra large needle. I don't pull it through all the way because I just want one strand of it. And then I tie a knot on one end. So this is just about where I want my top balloon to be. So I'm going to sew it just like a regular button, just on paper instead of fabric. And this one's pretty heavy, so I think I'm gonna have to sew it a few times. Okay, so now that I've got my first button attached, I'm gonna poke a hole through the paper but under the button so we're gonna hide that line and I'm trying to make it pretty taut because I want it to look like the balloons are full of helium and that they're floating on their own okay so this is gonna be like where the bushel is tied together No! And that's what you don't want to do, is pull the paper so hard that you make a hole. Okay, we can save this, we can save this. I'm gonna go back through this way. So those will sort of be the floating tassels, if you were. So it's coming together. That'll be where they're all tied together. And then I'll have all the other strings coming down there. And once I line up where I want my balloon to be, pop the hole through. Okay, now that I've attached that, again, I'm going to stick a hole through the paper, but under the button, so we don't see it on the front. And then we have our second balloon string. Now that we have this big loop, I don't have to make more holes in the card. I can actually just tie it through here. Oops. There's our first the salmon one. And I'm going to feed one more piece through at the right length that I want. 
and then just tie this in a knot. So we've got even more string. Oh, it's coming together. Um, oh my God, this is so fucking cute. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. I'm kind of obsessed. Okay. It's coming together. decide if we liked the dark one down here or not? Kind of. The white one up here. I think I'm gonna do purple with the green as a tribute to my favorite Ninja Turtle, Donatello. Um, this might be the cutest thing I've ever made. I'm so into it. So then, here's the only other option. Should I do a little heart? Oh my god, I don't think I can resist. It's too cute, right? Over this one. A little heart-shaped balloon. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's happening. a few little trims to make them all the same length. Oh my god, it turned out so freaking cute. Quite pleased with myself. And what a fun way to say I love you on your birthday even though we can't be together. Well, I hope this was helpful and you can try and recreate it on your own. Like I said, I just used scrapbook paper that I had lying around. Fabric, string, buttons. Hopefully you have some of that in your house. Anyway, cheers! Mm -hmm.